What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, playing some more Mono Green Tron, got the Dyro, and I gotta say, I just reached 200 subscribers, so I gotta say thank you to everyone who's watching the channel. Uh, it's honestly really cool, I'm really excited about it, so thank you, uh, I really appreciate you guys, and let me know if you have any ideas for a deck I can run, kind of as uh, last time I did it, somebody suggested I do a Mono Black Tron. Ooh, Jagatha versus Jagatha. Build as a celebrity for reaching 100. So if you got any suggestions, leave them down below. Uh, we'll get into this game here, and we're going to mulligan this new land hand. I'm not going to do, be doing much with that. And okay, that's a lot of Tron. Uh, we will be keeping that Tron and getting rid of the power plant. That is almost duplicate Tron. Hopefully we draw an Ulamog. So it's turn 3 Karn into turn 4 Ur Ulamog seems good. Uh, we're going to start off with a power plant since we have a duplicate. And we'll see what our opponent is up to. This is almost double Tron in hand. Well, I don't, don't think I've quite ever gotten double Tron, but it'd be really cool to get. If that power plant had been a mine, that would have been double Tron. And it is Tron v. Tron, and we are in a good spot. It's been a while since I've seen a Tron v. Tron game. There isn't too many... Uh, this could... No, it can't be Eldrazi Tron because he's played a Chromatic Star. So this is Mono Green Tron versus Mono Green Tron. Nice. We have a really good hand for this. Not too much we can do. Well, there's the Devil Tron. That is Double Tron. If they, even if they go quarter, we're set. So I think we've got game one in the bag here. Just drawing two sets of Natural Tron is very good. They're going to crack this, either Ancient Stirrings or Sylvan Scrying. They play another Tron land. It's likely going to be Sylvan Scrying. Yep, there's the Power Plant. Ancient. Okay, it's an Ancient Stirrings. They are going to grab a Karn Liberated. If they were on the draw, they would likely have us. Well, they may not have the tower. That could be rough. All right, we'll run out our card. And this is yeah, a pretty easy target here. We'll take the power plant. Just getting them off of Tron lands is probably the best policy. If they play a Tron land, ah, they, yep, they would have had it. So we're not out of the woods yet, though. Here's the issue. I think the likelihood they're going to have Tron is, yeah, they're going to have Tron next turn, so we're going to take the tower. They're going to crack the expedition map. We, however, don't have anything else to do here. So we're going to take get the Jagantha to hand. And, well, they are back a decent ways. If we don't draw another threat, they can rebuild from this. They grab the power plant. All right. There's the power plant into a chromatic star, into another. All right, so hopefully we draw a green source. We do draw the green source. What's our better option here? Uh, Jagantha, or I think it's going to be Ancient Stirrings at this point. I could have had one more mana here, but. Back for green, yep. Is we're hoping for Karn. Thought Not Seer is not bad though. There's a Karn. Yep, yeah, this may be game. gonna stick with it though crack for green
They have another Ancient Stirrings. They're going to get an Expedition Map. Do they have... They ha Oh, they, yeah, they were close to Tron. They're really working to recover this. But that, this is probably going to be game. Because we'll, we'll play the Thought Nuts here. Let's see what they're running in the hand here. Honestly, with this, I think we're going to take the Chromatic Sphere. All right, they're going to scoop. Yeah, that was going to be hard. They stuck with it, though. I mean, and they honestly could have recovered some of that. Had we not drawn a threat, I think they would have gotten there. Honestly, had we not drawn a, that Karn off the Ancient Stirrings, I think they would have had a decent chance. So Karn is usually the end, but not always. You can sometimes have enough Tron to fight through it. I definitely had a decent amount of Tron. I could have fought through some of that. Um, what do we want in? Dugans aren't the best. Nature's Claim can be decent here. I think I want the Pithing Noodle main as well. Pull out these uh, spatial contortions, bring in another nature's claim. Relic is sometimes good. We'll just go for all the nature's claims. All right, declare Jagantha. And this is going to be the rough game. They are playing a genie variant. We did see a concrete creator in their hand, so we are playing very similar deck list. This is going to be a mulligan, though. One Tron land is not going to be enough to get there. This is a little more tempting, but also going to be a mulligan. That's a no lander, so an easy mulligan. That's a no lander, so an easy mulligan. Well, we're not mulliganing to two. Four cards on the bottom. Probably an easy choice. Probably an easy choice. Probably an easy choice. Yep, yeah, this is going to be a rough game if we get there. And they kept a seven. we want to see on the draw but hopefully we can we're gonna get one more draw to get a Tron land and then we need a draw into a threat and for them not to have turn three Tron here it's likely when they keep a seven though that they're gonna have turn three so I don't have hope high hopes here this is likely Sylvan scrying Nature's Claim, interesting. Do they just have Natural Tron? That does mess with me, though. Hopefully we draw a land here. We do not. That puts us pretty far back. It's, Nature's Claim is good for that. Let's see their Natural Tron. Yep. I'll scoop to that. Was not going to be recovering from that point. Missing the land drop really was the worst too. I don't believe we make any changes on the play. Definitely going to play first. Declare the companion. Yep, yeah, this is turn three Tron. Uh, no threat, but we do keep... Because my expedition map is good. They would have to go Forest Nature's Claim. Which is never good as well. There's mine. Ooh, did they keep Natural Tron too? There's a big threat, but pretty far away at this point. Uh, 
There's tower. There's an expedition map. Well, we're, unless we draw a Karn, we're likely taking that out of play. We will grab our power plant. Yep, no Tron. So we'll crack for green. Nature's claimed their expedition map. And then run out our own expedition map as backup. We want to be able to crack that on their turn if they play uh, Big Karn. All right, they don't, so they were counting on that. Ooh, that's a nice draw. We don't play it here. We go for the Ancient Stirrings. So they were counting on that expedition map. Interesting. Do we grab the worm coil engine? Yeah, I think we do. And we run that out. We have an extra tower in hand, which is likely what they're going to hit. And we are very close to that in fact, I believe we should have uh, Immerkle next turn. So it's a matter of what they do this turn. They get one turn. That's probably not going to get them there. Yep, yeah, that's rough. Nature's Claim can get you there. Well, we're going to get the big boy out. Ooh, and we get Ulamog in the backup. Safe to say we have it. They need to draw a Tron land and then not have a way to deal with it. So we get to take their turn, which is going to be... It gives them an extra turn, which isn't the best. Oh, they put Jegantha in hand. That's what they did. All right. Yeah, they're, they're kind of flooded out on threats. And they're going to go ahead and scoop. All right. Well, there is the Tron v. Tron matchup. Nature's Claim being uh, MVP in two different games. Although they probably had that second game with them on that mold of three anyway. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of the matchup. And, yeah, if you have any ideas for something you want to see for uh, the... 200 subscriber celebration, uh, let me know. Tectonic Edge, signing out.